Hi friends, Angelica here for scrapbook.com. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to be making this adorable ghostly greetings shaker card and we're going to be using a few exclusive products. The ghost comes from Ghost Die Set. This is a 12 piece die set. It has a couple sentiment words that you can use. And then the sentiment that we will be using is from Trick or Treat Stamp Set. First, I want to make a background for the window. I have Storm Cloud Nouveau Shimmer Powder that I am sprinkling all over a 6x8 sheet of mixed media paper. Once I'm done sprinkling the powder, I'm going to use my water bottle to spray water over the powder and this is going to open up the pigments. Now I didn't have enough powder on the paper so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more, give it one more uh, round of water and then I'm going to start the heating process. I'm not going to fully dry this panel. The scrapbook.com's mixed media paper does take a while to dry and I like it more when it dries naturally. So I just heated the paper up a little bit. I'm going to wipe the edges off, get off any excess water off of this board and then I'm going to set it aside to fully dry on its own for a couple of hours. Now while the panel is drying, we're going to start die cutting and I am going to be die cutting Concord and Ninth cardstock. So we're going to start with the ghost. There are a lot of small pieces in this die set. So I am going to be careful when it comes to getting the pumpkin and the eyes for the ghost. So make sure I'm going to put those aside so I don't lose them. And I'm die cutting with the Spellbinders Scrapbook.com Platinum Scout. This is such a great little die cut machine to have on your desk. The board is a lot longer than the other die cut machine that I have that's nice on my desk. So I do really appreciate that. I can get a lot more die cutting done. So doing all of these pieces took no time. I'm following the guide on the back of the packaging so I know exactly how to glue the pieces onto this little ghost. Now the pumpkin, the black that's on the pumpkin for the eyes and the mouth, those pieces are really, really small and I didn't want to struggle with them. So I just took the black pumpkin and just put it right on top of the orange pumpkin and just pushed those little pieces down into the orange pup pumpkin spots. So that I found that to be the easiest to fill in those spaces. Now I am going through the spooky paper collection to find the front of my card base. This is such an adorable paper collection. I love that there's pink all throughout the papers. I just think pink is such a fun color to use uh, during Halloween. It's so unexpected. I used an A2 arch to die cut a window and then I'm going to use a larger arch to die cut uh, the back of the window out of that black paper we just made. I went through my stash of embellishments and I found these really shiny stars from Pretty Pink Posh. This, These are going to be the elements in the shaker window. If you have any fun Halloween themed embellishments, they would be perfect. This is just what I had in my stash. Now, we do need to shut this window up before we can start making the shaker element. So I used dry adhesive around the uh, backside of the window and then I closed the window with a sheet of acetate. I'm going to trim the edges of the acetate off that's not touching the adhesive. And then I'm going to take a strip of two millimeter foam adhesive and wrap that around the window. This is really easy to do if you just take the backing off first. Once I have all the foam on the back of the panel, I'm going to fill the window with the Pretty Pink Posh stars and I am using a Nouveau craft spoon so I can pay attention to the amount of embellishments that are going into the window. And I'm using black, gold, and purple. I'm doing a nice mixture, but I don't want to fill the window up too much. I want the embellishments to be able to shake. Once I was happy with the amount, I'm going to close the back of this window with the black arch, and that's going to finish the shaker element of this card. Just going to give it a quick shake just to make sure I like it before we move on. 
and I think it looks great. So now we're going to add the ghost. But before we do, I did realize those black legs that were on the ghost just blend too much into the background. So I did die cut purple legs and I'm attaching those to the back of the ghost. And then I'm going to use one millimeter foam strips to attach the ghost to the window. I love using one millimeter foam strips. I just think it gives the perfect amount of dimension to your cards without being overly aggressive. And I already have two millimeter foam on the back side of this panel. So I don't want to make the, the um, card too bulky. So I went with one millimeter and I also used one millimeter one millimeter foam to attach the hat. Now it's time to put the panel onto a card base. I've already put a strip of adhesive on the back of the arch. So I took the backing off, added a little bit of glue to that adhesive, and that's gonna help me put the card base or put the card panel onto the card base correctly. I just kind of moved it into place if it was crooked. And then I'll expose the, I'll take the backing off of the foam adhesive and then push that firmly into the card base. So the last thing we need to do for the card is make a sentiment. So I am pulling ghostly greetings from the trick or treat stamp set. And I'm going to white heat emboss that sentiment onto black cardstock. I did pull one more sentiment from the stamp set too to heat emboss, so I had that for a future card. Um, I'm using Versa, Versamark embossing ink to stamp the sentiments onto black cardstock. And then I'm going to um, pour a bit of Brutus Monroe alabaster white embossing powder over the ink. And I'm going to use my heat gun or my heat tool to melt the embossing powder. I pulled out the coordinating dies for these sentiments from the trick or treat die sets and I'm going to tape them in place with a little bit of mint tape, run them through my die cut machine, and then I'm going to add the ghostly greetings sentiment to the card panel with one millimeter foam adhesive. That is going to finish this card and today's video. All of the products that I use today, I will link down in the description and I will also link my gallery and the coupon page so you can stop by if you want to do any shopping grab today's sales code if you would like to follow me elsewhere I will also leave links to my Instagram my blog and YouTube channel that is all that I have for today I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me friends take care